what's the next after winning and what is the best action that we can take to work on our startup should we join incubator or accelerator program it really depends um, where you are in the stage of have you have you taken all the various steps and what your next key thing is for example if your next key thing is you already have a team and you're all more or less gone through this reiteration process with customers and you're ready to go in the market then yes joining a business accelerator may be very good because you get exposed to new thinking new ideas um, perhaps even pick up a new couple of team members <laughs> in the process of the business accelerator as well however if you're not really ready for that then uh, it may be better for you to um, find good mentors, maybe set up a good advisory board and kind of do a semi incubation process internally first. Be very, very careful who you choose as your incubator or your investor. It's almost like getting married. Okay. It's, it's going to be a long process. You're going to be with them. And if you do choose the person rightly or the incubator or the pr program correctly, then you can actually launch off very, very quickly. But, um, you know, not every accelerator incubator is the same. You know, don't don't compare apples. You have to compare apples to apples and don't get carried away just because, you know, they happen to be in Silicon Valley versus in Bangalore because you might find that the Bangalore may have actually more connection with understanding your situation in Iran, for example. Or, of course, if you have incubators in Iran, then it may actually work better, provided you have people with the right expertise you're looking for. Uh, yes, I mean, it, it's very important to distinguish between the incubator versus the accelerator. So, uh, uh, I mean, usually you join accelerator when you have a, a, a kind of a pitch rather than a product and you want to, uh, I mean, this is the accelerator with the Western or with the U.S. definition, which is, I think, valid all across the world. So, if you have uh, a semi-product, a, a, a prototype that you would like to to validate and to pitch and to get some initial seed money, fifteen to forty thousand US dollars. So accelerator is your place. Uh, incubator usually it is uh, uh, a government or a corporate kind of thing rather than a private sector thing, and it's a long-term, longer-term engagement. And uh, my my best recommendations is. Uh, on all, I mean, definitely you will do your own due diligence on which accelerator to join or which incubator uh, I should join, uh, but lower your expectation level. Don't expect much out of it and depend mainly on yourself rather than on the support of the incubator slash the accelerator. And as, as Lena was saying, I mean, do your homework before jumping in. Uh, uh, to make, uh, to give yourself uh, uh, time to, to utilize every and each minute you're enjoying inside the incubator accelerator. You're getting things in a subsidized or even free uh, of charge, fully free of charge. So uh, if you wasted this in doing your housekeeping things and uh, arranging your internal logistics and building your team, it will consume a lot of your money. But if you jump in, ready with everything in place, you will really make a very good use of, of your time and, and you will maximize and, and really accelerate your growth as a startup. Thank you.